I tell you. Hi, how are you? <laughs> so, um, it's a uh, it's a kind of a overcast day today. A um, lot of things happened. Um, went to visit a couple of friends, um, and uh, it was actually a very purposeful day. I was very happy with today. I hope that your day is purposeful and full of activity and uh, and uh, productive. All right. So today's topic. Um, is is it time to reinvent yourself? <laughs> um, I think uh, I think the company that uses the word reinvent is I believe it's HP HP reinvent. reinvent. So I kind of like this word reinvent. I mean the word invention or invent is uh, uh, pretty near and dear to me because um, I've always wanted to be an inventor. How many of you want to be an inventor when you were young? Inventor. So I wanted to be an inventor invent things and um, yeah, I was, I'm blessed I'm you know I'm very grateful that um, uh, you know I've invented a few things um, when I was working in uh, uh, Motorola and a um, couple of patents and so it's pretty cool um, so the thing is that's inventions but how about ourselves how about ourselves um, is it time to reinvent yourself would you like to invent yourself, reinvent yourself, reinvent yourself? What does it mean by reinventing yourself? Okay, probably to um, uh, have a new look, have a, a, a new image, um, doing something different. Hi, Pauline. Um, so, what does it mean by reinvent yourself? Isn't it? Um, sounds exciting. Sounds scary for some people. Oh, reinvent? No, I don't want to change. I don't want to change. So reinvention is almost like changing. Do you want to change? But I think it's a bit more than just change. Reinvent sounds like developing something new about yourself. Reinvent yourself, right? Like um, changing your name, maybe? I don't know. <laughs> um, for my hairstyle, yes, I've reinvented my hairstyle. It used to be one-sided up and across you know and recently because of MCO I decided to ah uh, you know don't care about and see what it looks like and uh, I've reinvented my hairstyle all right <laughs> so is it time to reinvent ourselves I think that's a that's a um, that's a heavy question also and the question is do we ever ask that question in our lives I mean we're working we're doing stuff and you know we're just going on with our lives and our routines and has, has a question ever came to you to say, hey, it's just time to reinvent yourself? I said, what are you talking about, reinvent yourself, right? So, um, I wasn't, um, you know, nobody asked me that question a long time ago, but probably it's a good one to ask sometimes, right? But I remember, um, I can't remember what year. I really can't remember what year, but it was one of the times I went to a talk and this talk was, um, was, was organized by Newskin. It was in Hong Kong, okay? And um, they invited a speaker. His name is Kenichi Omai, Konechi Omai. And um, he used to be a economic advisor to um, US presidents, you know? He wrote a lot of books and, um, and he, um, I think his background was definitely not in economics. I believe, but um, you know, but his he had interest in that and wrote books. So uh, during that talk, he said he said this. He said, um, e you know, in our lifetimes, every ten years we have to reinvent ourselves. What does that mean? Reinvent yourself ten years. Well, this is what he said. He says that you know, if you work for somebody, if you uh, like me, I, I work for a company, and um, you know, first first. First day of work was very exciting. Learn new things. Oh, I'm gonna, you know, a lot of things are happening. You don't know a lot of things, but the, you know that a lot of things to learn. The first year you learn a lot of things. The second year you learn a lot of things. The third year, fourth year, fifth year, you learn a lot of things, and you keep learning stuff, which is great. That's great. But you know, and, and nothing against companies, and nothing against anybody who works, and, um, and nothing against people who love to work. I'm just saying my experience. And fourth, sixth, seventh year, you know, things are pretty cool. You know, you're improving. You're getting promoted. But you're still probably pretty, I mean, I was in engineering, so pretty much doing the same engineering things, right? Um, 
and then it gets to a point on your eighth and seventh year, seventh and eighth year, you kind of say, oh, you know, hey, this is this is about the same thing I'm doing each year. Probably a different project, you know, sometimes a different group of people, but it's typically the same thing, you know. So he says that every ten years you should invent yourself. So looking back, I realized that it's it's kind of true because as you get to eight, nine, ten years, you start to realize that yeah, it's about it's a bit routine. It's a bit routine. I'm not, I'm not saying that it's bored. I'm not saying that it's, it's a bit routine. And the reason he says every 10 years we have to reinvent ourselves was because although, you know, you get a lot of value in the first few years, but as the years go on, the added value to your life gets diminishing. It's a law of diminishing returns, right? So that's the thing. The law of dim- For example, if I gave you an ice cream, you said, oh, that's very good. If I gave you two, you said, oh, that's delicious. If you gave three, that's okay. But if I give you four scoops and then the fifth scoop, and the sixth scoop and seventh scoop, you're gonna say, "Hey, that's enough, man. I, I, I can't have any more." If I give you some more, you're gonna say, "I say I'm gonna warm it, man. Too much ice cream, right?" So it's a lot of diminishing returns. So, you know, first few times it's cool, and then at the 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 value added to your life is less and less and less. So he 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 used a, a, a period of ten years. It's because at ten years plus minus, you you kind of realize that you're not really adding value to your life. You know, you're learning a lot in the first few years, but as you get older and older and more, you know, familiar in the job and the things that you do, you you're not really adding value in your life. So, when you realize that you're not you're not adding value to your life, or the thing that you're doing, or the job that you're doing is not adding value to your life, then it's about time to reinvent yourself. Reinvent yourself. We don't have a lot of ten years in our lives. We don't have a lot of ten years. You know, you. You know, 10 to 20, you're studying. 20 to 30, you're kind of learning the ropes and, you know, getting up, you know, in terms of seniority in your job. 30 to 40, is, it's, it's a peak year of most people. It's a peak growth years. It's peak performance years, 30, 40 years. A lot of CEOs are between 30 to 40, actually, you know. And they're healthy. And, you know, 30, and then 40 to 50 is like, you know, you're, you're there, you know. And, of course, there are some people who grow, and that's okay, 50 to 60. But... There's not many 10 years that you can reinvent yourself, you know. Um, so that's what he meant. Um, so is it time to reinvent yourself? Well, ask yourself, are you, is the thing, is the thing that you're doing, is a, is a job that you're doing, um, for, me, for, for me it was employment, did it, did it add value to, to, to your life? Are you learning new things? And um, if you're not, then that may be the time to reinvent yourself. So what do you mean by reinvent yourself? Probably doing something else. So if you are doing a desk job, you might want to go out and do a sales job. If you're doing a sales job, you might want to do a desk job. If you're doing teaching, you might go and do business. If you're doing business, you might want to think about how to do maybe something else or investment or something new, something that you're going to learn new things, learn new skills, learn new information that will not change you a little bit, but change you a bit drastically. Like, you know, like, like for example, if you're a desk job and you went to do sales, right? So, yeah, it'll be different. You'll be going out there more all the time. You'll be talking to customers more all the time, talking to people most of the time, where it could, versus if you're in a desk job. So vice versa. And if you are maybe uh, in a job, but you go and teaching, you're dealing with kids, you're learning new skills and that stuff. So maybe if you are, you know, doing one thing and you decide to do open a burger stall right of course that's something different as well and you could be the best burger stall in town right so you could do that or, or an F&B or business so so that's what I mean by reinventing yourself so I think that's very important I think that sometimes uh, you know I, I realize in my life that it, you know, I love engineering I love everything to do with engineering but the question is you know is that all I will be and I'm not saying that I don't like engineering is that all I will be is there some is there anything else I can do and I realized that, um, you know, after 10 years of working, I was, I, I'm not saying I was bored, I was introduced to new skin business or network marketing. Um, although I was skeptical at first, but then I realized, oh, okay, something that will help me achieve what I want, and I participated and I built it. Looking back after 18, 19 years, I think, hey, that's, that was a good decision because I kind of reinvented myself. 10 years of working for somebody, and then I went into New Skin, which is network marketing, which is totally different, and then I built my business. And um, so, so that was a way I reinvented myself. Um, so, of course, you know, you don't have to do that. But my question is, 
um, if what you're doing isn't adding value to your life, not other people's life, not your company's life, but your life, either learning new skills or learning something different, knowledge, um, then maybe it's time to reinvent yourself. Do something different, you know? Be an author, learn how to sell something, maybe be a teacher, maybe be a tour guide, maybe, I don't know, reinvent yourself. There's so many things to do, all right? So, um, uh, yeah, so that's, that's what I want to talk about today. I, I, I hope it kind of makes sense, you know, because I, I think that there's a lot of things that we can do that we think that we m must do for the rest of our lives. And that I feel that a lot of potential is kind of lost. And that, who knows, you could be the next Bill Gates, you could be the next Elon Musk, you could be the next something, or you could, you could surprise yourself from employment and then you could do sales. Like me, and I, I'm not in sales, but I realize that what I do, I mean, of course I'm doing new skin, but I realize that it's not just about selling, it's about developing leadership potential. So one of the things I realized was from employment to developing leaders, to training leaders, to coaching leaders, to helping people see their potential. And, and that's, you know, if, if I didn't do this, if I didn't make that choice 18, 19 years ago, I probably wouldn't have this, this career or this um, skill or this um, talent to be able to make a difference to people and develop them. So who knows? You could do that too. You, and of course, there's many things that you can do, but sometimes it's a good question to ask yourself. Are you adding? I'm not saying that the, the, business, the job is no good or the job doesn't pay enough. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking, I'm talking about does what you do add value to your life? And does it create value for you? And if it doesn't, maybe do something different to add more value. Do something different to add. Like, like you know, instead of teaching, you are business. Something like that. Or business, you go to teaching. You know, that, that kind of a difference. Okay? So I hope you enjoyed that sharing. Tag anybody who probably has questioned that in their path or their journey in life. Um, and, uh, and hope they enjoy this, all right? So if any questions, do ask me, and I'll see you in the next few days. You say bye-bye? Come say bye-bye. No, 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 Come on, show them your new haircut. New haircut. <laughs> all right, say bye-bye. All right, take care now. Bye-bye. Hi, guys. Hi, Michelle. Hi, Wang Yi. Hi, uh, Trump. Hi, Tiong Yi. How are you doing? Bye-bye. Thank you for joining in. Press here.